good morning. I'm Paul Comfort, MTA Administrator from the Maryland Department of Transportation's Maryland Transit Administration. Great to have you with us here today on Kent Island as we officially cut the ribbon on our new Route 210, which is commuter service from the Eastern Shore to Baltimore. We have a number of distinguished guests who I'll be introducing in a few moments, including county commissioners and members of the MTA staff. We're excited today to launch this new commuter bus route, which will connect Eastern Shore residents to Annapolis and all the opportunities uh, in Baltimore as well, mostly related to jobs. These new motor coaches are uh, equipped with bathrooms, Wi-Fi, they provide a safe, efficient, reliable service uh, for residents of the Eastern Shore, Queen Anne's County, Kent Island, over to the opportunities on the Western Shore as mentioned. So here's how it's going to work. So the route started this last week on Wednesday, and the buses first come to the Castle Marina Park and Ride. They come at 5.30 a.m., 6.30 a.m., and 7.30 a.m. You can get on the bus there, or five minutes later, they're here. And so around the same time, 5.30, 6.30, and 7.30 a.m., you can get on a motor coach just like this and head up to Baltimore. They'll be picking up passengers here and dropping off first in Anne Arundel County, and that'll be at the Annapolis Mall, where you can make connections to Annapolis Transit, serving most of Annapolis and, and uh, that part of Anne Arundel County. Then we'll drop off in Baltimore, including University of Maryland at Baltimore campus, the professional schools there, the Charles Street Metro Station, City Hall, and ending up at Johns Hopkins Hospital. And in Baltimore, the Route 210, this commuter bus route will connect to our light rail system, our subway, and to local bus routes. So again, it's part of Governor Hogan's transformative Baltimore Link Plan, which is linking transit across Maryland and taking people to all of life's opportunities. Think about the savings. So I'm from Queen Anne's County. I know what it costs to drive to Baltimore. You got to pay fuel, the toll, and probably parking once you get to Baltimore. When you ride the Route 210 to go to Annapolis, it's only $4. To go to Baltimore, it's only $6 one way. So it's really a savings, as well as the fact, I think people like the fact they can sit back and relax and enjoy the ride, uh, read the newspaper, pop open their laptop, whatever they need to do, and, you know, and it also clears traffic off the roads. So I'm confident that once people who drive between the Eastern Shore and Annapolis or Baltimore see the ease, convenience, and low cost of riding commuter bus 210, many will choose to take transit instead. And to introduce this new route, between now and March 14th, all the rides are free. There's never a better time to try transit than when you can do it for free. So we encourage you to get on out here right away and ride these routes. I look forward to seeing you as I plan to take this route sometimes myself. So thanks for that. I now want to introduce my good friend, Queen Anne's County Commissioner Robert Bucky for a few comments. Let's welcome him. Thank you, Paul. And I want to thank uh, MTA. They're a great partner with Queen Anne's County. I didn't realize until today that actually we go to Washington, D.C., and that's a great opportunity for the citizens of this county, as well as now we make the full link to go to Baltimore. I mean, what a better way to travel to Baltimore, six bucks, and to go to Annapolis for four dollars. I mean, you can't beat that. It's cheap. It's a great quality of life for our citizens in here in Queen Anne's County, and it's an economic advantage for the county citizens itself. They, they, like Paul said, to travel to Baltimore with the tolls, the, the vehicle itself is going to cost you twenty, thirty dollars. Sit back on a bus, read the paper, or listen to the Wi-Fi. It's a great opportunity, and I appreciate the governor's effort to uh, to make this happen for our citizens. And I look forward to other opportunities for MTA and the county working together with other routes. Now we go to the Redskins, of which I didn't know, and now we go to the Baltimore Ravens. Fantastic for Maryland. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you, Commissioner Bucky. Uh, and now I want to introduce also my good friend, Commissioner Jack Wilson, who say a few words. Let's welcome him. So we're still taking a ride on this after we're That's done. That's right. Ride. Yeah, okay. we're gonna. Um, yeah, I gotta reiterate uh, Commissioner Bucky's comments. Uh, the citizens of Queen Anne's County really need to thank uh, the state, the governor, Paul, and his entire staff for getting this together. Um, Let's face it, if you can come here and save yourself the stress, wear and tear on your vehicle every day, ride to Baltimore, you can't beat it for six bucks. So uh, at the end of the day, I think um, most of us here in Queen Anne's County realize we're a bedroom community. So we, uh, we push 82% of our population out of county every day to go to work. And every car we can save on that bridge and, you know, it makes the life of the citizen that much better. So again, thank, thank you, Paul, your staff, and the governor for uh, bringing this to Queen Anne's County. Absolutely. Thank you, Commissioner Wilson. 
I also want to acknowledge some other folks who are here from the MTA today. Glenn Saffron, who's here, who is our director of uh, Commuter Bus and helped get all this set up and design the routes and all. I want to thank you, Glenn, personally, for the great work you've done in getting this, this new route and all the hundreds of routes we have across the state of Maryland running every day. I know a lot of that falls directly on your shoulders, so I want to thank you for the work you're doing. I also want to thank Pat Keller, who's here from the MTA, who oversees the overall uh, commuter bus program and many other projects, including transit-oriented development around the state of Maryland. And my deputy, Suhair Al-Khatib, why don't you guys come up here with us, uh, Suhair and Pat, who's going to, they're going to help us cut the ribbon. Suhair is our deputy in charge of engineering and all projects. He has uh, over 150 projects going on at any one time and is also the lead for the MTA in designing the uh, alignment and the uh, environmental study for the new maglev train between Baltimore and Washington. And so Suhair is Mr. Maglev, and uh, we're excited about the potential future possibilities of that as well. I also want to recognize Greg Todd, the county administrator for Queen Anne's County. He does such a tremendous job uh, running the county government day to day, making sure this county is as efficient as possible. I want to thank you for the work you do, Greg, and for your help in working with us on this. And finally, I want to introduce my good friend, John Duncan, the Chief Operating Officer of the MTA. Come on up, John. Uh, John um, represents the MTA well in uh, overseeing all daily operations of the bus, the commuter trains, the commuter bus, just about everything uh, that we have in the, uh, the metro bus, the light rail, et cetera, the buses, the paratransit service, and it's done a tremendous job for the MTA. Thank you for being with us here today. And now we'll ask the other commissioners to come up, and we're going to cut the ribbon to officially open this up. And Greg, you should come too. Three, two, one. There we go. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right, it looks like we are officially underway. And remember, this new commuter service, Route 210, is free until March 14th. And after that, it'll be $6. We encourage you to come on out. Just try it. Change your travel patterns for one day and see how you like it. We encourage you to try it. We also want to announce that we plan to, uh, we have another route going from Baltimore, 215, down to Annapolis. And we'll be opening that officially tomorrow. Thank you so much for being with us today at Governor Hogan's new MTA, where we're providing access to all of life's opportunities through transit.